Hey guys, welcome to another tip of the week. This time we're going to do something big. We're going to detail a whole floor of hardcore. So, as I usually say, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So, basically, I have opened my drawing in here in AutoCAD and I'm going to do this floor, fill it with hardcore. So, when you do the hardcore, we you select draw hardcore. You select the hollow core where you want to draw and then the way we want to draw it. Then a support length and a slope if sloping is needed. I can see later on I'm going to have to add a uh, hole in here. So I'm going to do like this and select where this cut one should be. Actually adding holes can be done before or actually even after we draw the hollow core. So let me show you guys here first. We can draw a circular one. I have that one on the other side. We'll make that one there. Then we're going to draw some rectangular ones. And we can just draw them straight up as we want them. Here, here. These we're going to mirror later, so we don't need them. And this one as well here. So that's it, what we need. For this one, we can add in the hole if we want. So now this is added. But then let's uh, let's finish the floor. So in this case here, we'll do the same as before. Just with a windowed approach. Depending on if we want them to be this, the same as in the room above, we can control where the hollow cores are. These are two different rooms, so it's not so important to me in this case. And then here, where we have a little different shape, I'm going to use a polyline instead. We'll do like this here. And no support length. And this for me is fine as well. So basically, we have the hollow cores here. Now I want to mirror them. So I'll select them all. I will mirror. In what mirror line? In this mirror line here. So then by taking these here and by editing them, we can add the new holes and update all the lifters. And here we can see actually we have a floor of hollow core. This is actually in full 3D already. We're just viewing it like this. So the last thing there is to do is to actually save the hollow cores and create the drawings for them. So we'll save them. And now Impact will save all of the hollow cores and give them numbers, save them into the system for our project management, for our production planning and all of these kind of things. And then of course we can also use it to create uh, our production drawings. So that, now they're all saved and let's create some drawings. I'll show you guys, you know, one or two drawings as well in this tip here. We don't want the tip to get too long, so we'll just keep ourselves to one or two. So basically I've created the drawings for all of these in this whole area here or on the whole floor, however we want it to be. This will actually uh, as you can see, a lot of them are the same as that over here, so we'll have the same drawings. Let's take a look at this one, and let's take a look at this one, just to have two different ones. And we'll say open drawings, open holocore drawings. Here we go. And now Impact will open up the drawings first. The drawings are finished, they're good to go. We look at HC6, the drawing is done, everything is counted, HC3. Drawing is done, everything is counted, the lifters are there, and so on and so forth. Last thing I want to show you guys in this tip, we want to keep it short as mentioned, is what do we do then here? Well, we'll add a hanger detail. We need to support this slab with this one and this one. And then we'll make a hole in this one here. And we'll take a hanger detail and say, please make this for us. So there we go. 
And we can even as well say, well, let's save this here. And now we'll get new numbers on this one here as well. So basically, going into our project manager, we can see in here we have a flow of Holocorn 3D. We have our drawings. They're all done. The tip here has been about five minutes long. That's the time it actually takes. So that's it for me in this tip. See you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.